All right, here is the flat man model for the cardiovascular system. Here in the heart region, we have the uh, sending aorta, aortic arch, thoracic aorta. Coming off of the aortic arch, we have the brachiocephalic trunk right there. We have the common carotid artery going up to the head, and we have the subclavian artery. So again, common iliac artery, subclavian artery. Subclavian artery becomes axillary artery, which then becomes brachial artery. Brachial artery then splits into the ulnar artery, side of the ulna, the median artery, and the radial artery. All right, coming back here. This big thing here is the abdominal aorta. This structure here, we have the left gastric artery, the splenic artery. We have the common hepatic artery. This stump right here is superior mesenteric artery. So the renal artery is going to the kidneys, gonadal artery here and here. This here is inferior mesenteric artery. The abdominal aorta splits into the common iliac arteries, which split into the internal iliac artery and the external iliac artery, which then becomes the uh, femoral artery. Come over here, femoral artery. Here's the deep femoral artery. The femoral artery then becomes the popliteal artery, which then becomes the posterior tibial artery. And up here is the anterior tibial artery. So in case that didn't quite make sense, popliteal artery, posterior tibial artery, this branch here becomes the anterior tibial artery. Then we have at the heart, the pulmonary trunk becoming pulmonary arteries, which are blue, pulmonary arteries. And then in red here, pulmonary veins here and here. All right, here's the superior vena cava splits into the right and left brachiocephalic veins, which becomes the internal jugular vein and subclavian vein. So again, internal jugular vein, subclavian vein. Subclavian vein becomes the axillary vein near the armpit. Then it turns into the basilic vein, which goes all the way down. Branching off the top here is the cephalic vein going down the outside. And then this strip here, this vein here, is the median cubital vein connecting the basilic and cephalic veins, median cubital vein. All right, over here, this is all inferior vena cava, all this big stuff. Here is the, uh, um, these are the hepatic veins here and here. This is the splenic vein. This is the, uh, hepatic portal vein right there. Here's the renal veins. And at the end of the inferior vena cava, we have the common, right and left common iliac veins, which then split into the external iliac vein and internal iliac vein. External iliac vein then becomes the femoral vein. Femoral vein becomes the popliteal vein, becomes the posterior Oh, sorry, anterior tibial vein. So this is anterior tibial vein, popliteal vein, femoral vein. And that is it for this model.